Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Happy Monday to you. Our 45th president turns 75 today. For more on this, let's bring in Newsmax contributor and former attorney for President Trump. Jenna Ellis is with us this morning. Hi, Jenna. And presidential historian and author of Inside Trump's White House, Doug Weed, back with us as well. Doug, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, special day for the 45th president today, uh, for sure, 75 years old. Um, Doug, someone actually asked me this recently. They asked me if I thought that President Trump would ever be remembered like, for example, Ronald Reagan is today. And I said, yes, but I think it's going to take some time. Um, how do you think his presidency will be remembered? I think he's going to be the most uh, impactful president since FDR. I mean, the list is just stunning and staggering. The, perhaps the greatest one-term president in American history. It'll take a while for historians to come to that conclusion. But think of this. He's the first president in 40 years not to have started a war. Mm. By that, I mean not to have invaded somebody. That's amazing. And the vaccine was, in my opinion, uh, the greatest private public sector uh, event since the Manhattan Project. They said it would take five years at best. It took one year. Joe Biden was vaccinated when Donald Trump was president. I think he's going to have quite an impact historically. Yeah, and Jenna, people forget, but the, you know, the left wasn't wild about President Reagan when he left office in 1989. It really, it, he became a sympathetic figure to people on the left, I think, in the early 90s when he finally came out and admitted that he had all, Alzheimer's disease. And, uh, and that sort of generated a lot of sympathy. And then his, his, you know, his legacy sort of builded from that point on. But when it comes to President Trump, today is his birthday. I know you know him very well. What, what do you expect? Is the president a birthday guy? <laughs> well, you know, I know that the president loves and celebrates America, and uh, I think it's no coincidence that he was born on Flag Day, right. and uh, I think that that's a wonderful thing. And, you know, God always has plans and plans our steps. And so I think uh, we may hear from the president today acknowledging that and uh, hopefully acknowledging the millions of Americans that are already on Twitter, on social media, wishing him a happy birthday. Certainly I did this morning. And uh, I think that Doug is right, that he is uh, absolutely going to uh, have have an amazing legacy. And of course, the mainstream media doesn't want that now because of the political tensions. But uh, as we get further into the future, especially looking back on uh, his first term, and I emphasize first term, right. I think that uh, the American people are going to solidify his legacy as uh, one of the greatest presidents that we've ever seen. Doug, I think it's pretty clear that in 2022, which is not that far off now, President Trump will play kingmaker uh, when it comes to candidates that are running. And then in 2024, if he decides to not be king himself and, and, and you know, run again, uh, he will play kingmaker in that capacity as well. How important is the former president right now with anybody thinking about running for office or anybody looking to run for reelection? Well, there's just, <laughs> he's the 800 pound gorilla in the room. Right. There's nobody else because he has such a hardcore following and it's strong enough and big enough uh, to uh, make him the front runner in any primary. He is the, the factor. And that's why the Democrats are in fear of him and want to cripple him because he's still active. Of course, they could say good things about Ronald Reagan. He couldn't run again. But Donald Trump is a threat and they hate it. Prison reform. Think of this, Rob. Eight years Obama was praised because he wanted it. Eight right, years right. George W. Bush was praised because he wanted it. it took Donald Trump to do it. Jenna, I know from a very good source, not you, but a very good source, President Trump does watch Wake Up America uh, from time to time. So I don't want to I don't want to ruin anything for him on his birthday. But today um, is a special day because his PAC, Save America, is planning to surprise him uh, with a lot of donor money today. Ninety percent of the proceeds will go to Save America's PAC. Ten percent is going to go to uh, the Make America Great Again PAC. Tell us a little bit more about what's going on today. <laughs> yeah, well, um, of course, I'm not involved currently in the PAC, but I know that there are a lot of uh, great individuals and people who are involved because this is still uh, really you know, President Trump's organization to make sure that uh, we continue to have America first. And that's an agenda that, um, again, over 80 million Americans voted for him, uh, love and support him. And he's going to continue. I know President Trump is going to continue to make America great again. And that's his primary focus. I know that's the focus of all the organizations that he's involved in. Uh, we're going to continue, uh, I know, as Americans to put America first. And that's why we love President Trump and wish him a happy birthday today. It is going to be interesting to see what happens between now and the next couple of years. It really is. Uh, Jenna Ellis, Doug Weed, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Really, uh, really enjoyed it. And hope the president has a great birthday as well. 
Thanks, Rob. Thank Happy you. birthday, President. President.